Whenever you create lots of content in InDesign, your document can become very, very cluttered, and it's often difficult to tell exactly what it looks like when it's printed. So here's how to turn off some of the guides and bounding boxes. First of all, you can go to View, down to Extras, and hide the frame edges. These are the little boxes that are around your text boxes and, and uh, picture frames. Notice the keyboard shortcut is Option Command H. This turns it off, and now I can only see them whenever I hover my mouse over a text box or a picture box. That's good, so how do we turn off our margins or any other guidelines that we've created? Go back up to View, down to Grids and Guides, and you can hide your guides. Notice the keyboard shortcut is Command Semicolon. And this turns off your guidelines that you're working with. This will clean up everything and make it look a lot better so all I'm seeing is my content and my page. Additionally, if you want to see what your document looks like without seeing all the clutter that may be off, off the, uh, the artboard that you're working on, so for instance I've got a lot of extra things that I'm not working with, you can go into different preview modes. There's two places to find them, but the easiest one is going to view, down to screen mode, Right now I'm working in normal, which means I can see my, everything that's outside my artboard and on my artboard. If I turn on preview, this will show me only the things that are in my artboard. Additionally, I can turn on my extras and I can turn on my guides and those won't show up as well. In other words, it's only previewing exactly as it would print. Other types of previews will show you what things look like if you had a bleed edge or a slug edge. The final type is a presentation mode, and this gives you the ability to see everything by itself full screen. If you wanted to move around, you can click and it will go to the next page. And if I wanted to exit, I can hit the escape key and it goes back into my normal work mode. The second place you can find all of these preview modes is look at the very bottom of your toolbox. There's two different icons. The second icon, when you click and hold, will give you the different types of previews. And the first little icon will return you back to normal mode where you can see everything that you're working with.